I'm in the, the Harold Hilton Lounge at West Langs Golf Club. Harold Hilton, the founding editor of Golf Monthly magazine, so quite a fitting place to be. I'm with Stuart King, the current secretary manager of the club. It's a local final qualifying venue again this year. Uh, Stuart, what does it mean to the club to be a local final qualifying venue? Um, it means a lot to the club. It means that what we have to offer here um, is acceptable to the RNA, both in terms of the course and the clubhouse. And we have been staged and final qualifying since 1976. So it appears we are getting something right. And a certain Mr Faldo played that year, I believe. Mr Faldo played in 1976 and he was the leading qualifier. Excellent. Now, uh, for many for many people, West Lanx is one of the tougher tests along this northwest coast of England. Um, what, what holes are going to perhaps catch the players out, out there? Um, I think the early holes um, in the final qualifying will be a 2 T start. Um, both nines present difficult starts and uh, it does depend on the wind but they are playing to small greens that fall off on all sides and um, given the good spring the rough will be quite severe so um, the start to either nine will be very severe. And usually a little bit of wind out there no doubt? Um, we get about three days a year when there's no wind so they will get, um, they'll be guaranteed wind. Now the local final qualifying courses for this year's Open are all links courses but you don't actually get to see the sea that often. This is one exception, this is the second tee at West Lanks Golf Course, perched up high, looking out over the sands here, there's those uh, strange people in the sand there, which are uh, modern art, I believe, and then behind me, Blundell Sands, vast expanse of sea. Now, the problem is, wind is right off my back here, which is over the shoulder, worst nightmare for a golfer. Early in the round, you don't want to carve one right, let's see what we can do. Drifting gently right, but just held on to the edge of the fairway. I'm still in play, it's a par five, could make birdie. I'm here on the 14th tee at West Lanks, one of the longest par fours on the course at 447 yards. Um, it's a blind tee shot over there towards a church spy, which you probably can't see, but I seem to remember from when I played here before that that's the line, somewhere around about that. Now, 447 yards, but fortunately, the sea's over there and the wind is off the sea today. So that's going to make it play a little bit shorter, but you've got to get your tee shot far enough down to see the green, which is set to the right in amongst some trees. If you leave yourself blocked out on the right, you're going to have to come in over those trees, making the approach shot much more difficult. There's something about uh, an elevated tee, isn't there, that we as golfers really love, the chance to launch that ball up into the sky, see it soaring away. This hole here, the 13th at West Lanks, 424 yards, has a real launch pad of a tee. The only problem is, if it's anything like today, it's straight into the wind, so you need to really be keeping it down, perhaps turning it over a bit to see if you can squeeze a bit more yardage out of it and make the 424 yards play a little bit shorter. Let's see if I can do that. Not too bad and fairly easy in these circumstances. Whether it'll be quite as easy when you're battling for a place in golf's oldest and greatest championship is another matter.